Hey guys, my name is Gabe and this is episode 29 to Let's Make Rust. And today we're going to be adding this nice apple item. And with that we're going to be working on moving items to other slots, finally. And we're going to make it so that items can, sw uh, can swap with one another. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing that today. Next episode we're going to probably be doing tool tips. So, yeah, um, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so to get started, we're going to open up our Visual Studio solution and we're going to go into our uh, slots folder, or <laughs> excuse me, we're going to go into our slots uh, slots script. So um, I'm just going to remove all these other, uh, all these other scripts uh, from our bar. Okay, so uh, in our slot script, we're going to have to make a public boolean and it's going to be called is selected. And by default, we're going to make this false. So um, on pointer enter, we're going to do is selected is true. And when we leave, is selected is false. OK. So what's happening here is um, when we enter uh, into one of the slots, which well, we don't have any right now, but once we enter a slot, it's just going to set is selected to true. And in our item objects, we're going to loop through each one of these slots and check which one is selected so that we know um, which slot to put it in. And if it doesn't find any, any excuse me, <laughs> I can't speak today. If it doesn't find any that um, are selected, then we are assuming that there are no slots that are being dragged onto. Thus, um, we are going to uh, return the item back to its original slot. Okay, I hope that made sense. I don't really, I don't really know what I said. So we're gonna go into our item object and we're gonna create a private void and we're gonna call this get slot info. Uh, I'm just gonna call it that. It doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't know what else to call it. And we're going to make an array of game objects called slots, which is gonna equal to game object dot find game objects with tag and slot. So I don't know if I did this already. Um, I did this when I was testing. So. Um, if we go to our prefabs and inventory and our slot, just make sure that you have made a slot tag. So you go to add tag right here. Um, you add the tag and just make sure you apply that in your slots prefab. Okay, good. So um, hopefully you did that. Inside of here, we're going to create a for each loop variable slot in slots. So for each slot, we're going to now check if it is selected. So we're going to do if slot dot get component slot dot is selected is equal to true. Uh, then we're going to set our start position to that slot. All right. And then we're going to take this and actually, hold on. I'm, huh. Uh, maybe we don't have to do it like that. Okay, well first of all, we're gonna have to um, remove this from here and we're gonna replace that with our get slot info. Uh, I, we might change the name of that, it doesn't really make sense so much. Okay, so uh, if it is selected, we're going to set the slot parent and actually we, we might wanna take this out of the for loop. Then we're gonna break out of the for loop and once we break out of the for loop, it's going to um, reset the, uh, to the star parent and we're gonna set back to zero. So hopefully this works. Let's see if it does. Um, I kind of did this a little bit differently than I tested. So do that. Oh, okay. And it works just fine. Okay, so as you can see, we can now move the item to a different slot. So that is working very well. And I'm surprised it worked on the first try. Well, I did do testing. So yeah, uh, we have that. So now we're gonna make it um, so that if we have two items right, right here, and we go over to this one, you see what happened there was we just added an, uh, to that child. So we have to make sure that um, we can swap those. So let's see here, uh, how could we swap that? So first of all, we're gonna have to check the children so if it is selected, and we're going to do if slot 
dot get child count, I believe, or slot dot transform dot get child count. Here we go. Is less than or equal to zero, I believe. I'm not sure where where did I do this. I did this somewhere else, and I already forgot how to how to do that. Um. Yeah. <laughs> just give me one sec. Okay, I did this correctly. It's just that I have to make this a lowercase. So I knew I was doing something like that. Okay. So uh, if we have um, a child, well, now we know that there's already an object there. So basically we're gonna do uh, check if we already have an object in slot. And now we're gonna have to replace it with the current one. So we're gonna have to do a little crazy jazz here. So we're gonna do, let's see, how should we do this? Uh, so first of all, we're probably going to want to store item object and other item, right? So we're going to want to do that, which is equal to slot dot transform dot get child zero, I believe. Uh, cannot. Okay. Dot get component dot get component item object. Okay. So that's going to get the item object off um, off the off the slot okay and now we're gonna have to kind of swap the data of the items so let's see here how should we do this hmm okay so other item dot start position start start position start parent okay dot start parent is equal to our start parent, right? So we're gonna make it ours. And then our start parent is gonna have to equal the other items. But if we're already setting it, there's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Okay, okay, I see I see how to do this, but now we're gonna have to cache okay, so we're gonna have to cache the, the old position. So we're going to do here, this is going to get a little confusing, transform old or other item position is equal to other item dot start position. And I did I keep saying position. I don't know why it's pissing me off. <laughs> so we're going to do other item parent. Okay. And now we're going to do um, our transform. So, so this start parent is now equal to the other item parent. Okay, so we got some weird object oriented stuff happening here. So first, we are getting the component, okay, right? So we are getting item object off the other slot. Then we are caching, so caching um, other objects transform. Then we are going to set other items transform to ours caching other objects, parent, saying other items, parent, right? And then we are set, we're going to set our parent to cached parent. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'm going to explain it anyways. So again, we're first getting the item object and off the item object, we're right away caching the other items uh, parent in another variable inside of here. Then we're setting the other item start parent and see if we put this here. So if we put other item parent here, this wouldn't work um, because we have to first get the, we have to get the old parent. Then we're going to set the new one and then we're setting ours to the new one. So now we're going to do start parent is equal to what? Start parent is equal to slot that transform. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to do that in an else. Yeah, okay, so else start parent. Okay, hopefully this works. I I don't really know. So after this whole thing, and that's my phone. So after this whole check, we're gonna break out of the loop. So regardless, uh, we're gonna break out anyways because we kind of found out of the, hold on. 
I'm having second thoughts about this. So once we break out, we should go right to here, yeah. So it's not gonna loop through anymore. So hopefully this will work. Um, let's test it out. So I'm gonna add two items. If I go like that, it opened Cortana. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, we're having a problem. What is happening? Okay, so, oh, okay, yeah. I think I know what's happening actually. We're not setting the other items transform we're only setting our transform so now what we're gonna have to do is uh, as well as this we're gonna have to do item object dot set uh, dot transform is that correct item other item right okay of course other item dot transform dot set parent to, oh, okay, so we didn't even set the parent. We only we only changed its variable. So now we're gonna set the parent to other item dot parent, dot start parent, right? And then we're gonna do other item dot transform, which we're already accessing, dot local position. So we're gonna reset parent of other item and reset position of other item. Okay, so now this should work. We're uh, we're not going to really see it too much because it's the same item. So now if we go like this, it doesn't work. I was wrong. Of course. Of course I was. So let's analyze. Let's analyze what's happening here. Okay, we get the item. We set its parent, which is all correct. Then we set... Uh, let's see, set our, our parent to cached parent, which is... Correct. Uh, other item dot transform dot set parent to its start parent, and we're resetting its position. I don't really see what the problem is. Start parent is equal to uh, slot to transform. Huh. Okay. So, just give me a second. Let me try to figure out what the problem is. It's a little strange, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I realized what I did wrong. It was, uh, of course, a greater than, less than error. So I did, if child count is less than or equal to zero, then we're gonna get a child off of it. This makes no sense. If the child count is less than or equal to zero, we have no children. So I did this correctly, except we kind of did the opposite, sort of. So now what we're supposed to do is greater than or equal to one. Or we could do greater than zero, uh, that might be. Yeah, if it's bigger than zero, then now it should work. So now I'm going to add a couple items. So we have a Glock, and we start to move this guy. That's why we got an array index out of bounds. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if I had recorded that, but there was an array index out of bounds when I tried to move it to an empty slot, and the reason was is because it was trying to get children off of it that did not exist. So you could see we're moving around our object. You can see it's changing. And then we, we go like this, swapped. You can't exactly tell that it got swapped, but trust me, it got swapped. And I could prove that by making, let's see. So we're gonna make our Apple object that we made a while ago, but we didn't actually set up, we kind of commented it out. So over here, item.add, new item, apple, and delicious red fruit. We have apple underscore item and one. So. Uh, the reason we're gonna have pro okay yeah I need to I need to get an Apple image so I'll be right back okay so I imported a Apple image that I actually took off Google so I will import a or not import I will include in the description the um, the link to this so that you could download it yourself I did not make this um, so uh, okay so max size five twelve format compressed that's fine doesn't really matter we can adjust that later. Okay, so this should work if I go into the item, or not item, if I go to our inventory and I do, actually, you know what, we don't need this anymore. Uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep this thing if we hit P, but I'm going to add items at start. So I'm going to do add item and I'm going to add zero. So we have a Glock. I could add a couple of those because why not? 
the more the merrier. And I'm going to add a few apples. I have insert on. Okay, so I'm going to add a few apples. Okay, so we have six items now. We have uh, three glocks, three apples. When we start, hopefully no errors, and good, no errors. And would you look at that? We only have two apples. Did I only make two? Okay, I made three. There seems to be a problem. What is happening? Oh, wow, okay, I think I was reading it wrong. I don't know why it added this apple later. Okay, the apple can't, okay, the apple can move. Okay, we, I thought we had problems. Anyways, this is fine. I don't know why this is happening. This must be some sort of execution order. Anyways, but if I go like this and I switch, you could see that the items are being swapped, which is awesome. I'm pretty surprised that worked. On the I didn't test the item swapping. <laughs> I just kind of did that, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised. And, okay, cool. So how much time do we have? Okay, I, I want to do uh, tool tips, but I think we're going to have to save that for the next episode. So episode 31 is going to be the big one, maybe. Um, you know, the one that a lot of people have been asking me about. I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you really want to, you can go hunt through the comments. And, and um, you know, I'll, I'll let you... You could find out yourself what, what the big episode is. And um, the reason we have to do that is for preparation for other things, which I'm not going to go into because it's a surprise. So, uh, yeah, uh, we got this working pretty cool. Uh, I think, okay, so next episode, we're going to do tool tips so we could eat the apples. And also with that, we're going to make it set when I pick up a Glock, instead of um, just equipping it into my hands, uh, it's going to equip it here. Maybe, maybe that big episode might be a little bit delayed because I do want to also do a hot bar. Yeah, okay, this is a problem. Okay, yeah. So I do want to do a hot bar as well. So, yeah, the the big one that I'm that I'm talking about might be delayed actually for for a few more episodes. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that we have to tackle first, and trust me, you'll be more than happy uh, with getting that stuff out of the way first. So, if you enjoyed this video, um, uh, please like so I know that I'm doing a good job. Hopefully, and, uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or. Uh, or ask me on Twitter. So my Twitter is in the description below. I know some of you are asking. It's always going to be in the description. Just check that out. And uh, so subscribe and have a good one.